Hello and welcome to Fatito's Gang. I'm Nenna Jimye. There's been a lot of talk about Nigerian youth and potentially taking over our country's politics. We've also touched on it a bit here on Patito's Gang in a previous episode. Well, today, the gang dives a bit deeper. Let's stay tuned. A lot of uh, young people, including myself, have been clamoring to be, uh, you know, to vie for the presidency of this country, Nigeria. They're disappointed. They said that the older people, like some of my colleagues here, you know, have uh, failed, and they now want to take over uh, the leadership, which is good. I remember the uh, a well-known person in his 80s now in Nigeria, an insurance guru, ahead of a story where he was having a meeting with uh, his colleagues, and his son was passing by and said, "Daddy, what are people discussing?" He said, "Oh, how to make Nigeria well." And the man, the young man, the son asked him, how can you, you know, be making a country to be good for me without getting me involved? That is where we are today. Is there any kind of succession planning for them, you know, so that the younger ones will be mentored to take over leadership of this nation? Gentlemen, that's... I think, thank you, Prof, for this um, particular topic. I think it's very apt right now because um, when you talk about succession, you talk about mentoring. It's almost doing the same thing because you cannot talk about succession without thinking mentoring. And unfortunately, in our environment, mentoring is not, um, is not recognized. It's supposed to be institutionalized. You're thinking for the no, future. Not, not that it's not recognized. Yes. When I mean it's, yes. It, it maybe it's, it's not yes. the... A lot of people don't understand The it. negative mentoring we have is what they call godfatherism, which is what obtains in the public space right now. But that's not what we are talking about. We're talking about in the area of mentoring is a, a system that recognizes that a society needs to move forward. Some people come, some people go. But so, yes. Yeah, so, if some people have to go and you don't want to leave a vacuum, you prepare other people to come and take over. Unfortunately, as we see today, the people there don't want to go. And so because they don't want to go, so they are not thinking of preparing other people to come and take over. So that's where we are right now. Well, um, I, I, I tend to differ on that your analogy of uh, um, youths coming into the public domain as uh, leaders. You see, you have to look at it from this angle. Here in Nigeria, we never grow. And because we have... We never grow. Oh, we don't. Okay. Because you see somebody who is up to 30 years still living his in his father's, father's, father's house. And that is the way the father and the public looks at see, him. Yeah. So let's take leadership. If you pay attention, you realize that uh, uh, the leaders of today were the leaders of yesterday. yesterday. And that means that they are not giving the young the opportunity to come upstream. And the reason for that is not far-fetched. The reason is that they never saw their children to know anything. But that narrative has to change. And that is where I am for the youth, even though I'm not a youth any longer. Oh, but the definition of the youth has been the youth has been redefined yeah, uh, by the United Nations. Just like they said the new information about the youth demography. Yes is that between uh, 18 and 65, you're still... <laughs> well, we will, not go, we will not go in that's that direction. That's not correct. 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 An adult. That is not correct. 85, for upwards. That's no, not correct. So, I'm still a young man. <laughs> yes, it's okay. It's <laughs> okay. okay. It's you allow to be no, the no. youth. No, no, it's okay. <laughs> you see, there's a saying that said that uh, age is in the in mind. In the mind, yeah. yeah. And I tend to agree on that. So, you can be old. But you're acting. But that's younger. a narrative the old people are yes, using to maintain yes, the status yes. quo. No, no. You see? I'm coming up with something here. The truth of the matter is within our political space, mm -hmm. there's this consciously unconscious that our so called leaders are using to suppress the younger ones from coming up. And there's this statement that goes this way oh, the youth are not ready. 
The youth are not ready. Who is you, going to make them ready? Wait, that's what that's, I'm saying. Yeah. I'm not I'm not making that argument. I'm saying that there is a statement out there that said the youth are not ready. And I'm against that word because it's not true. The youth are 100% ready. It's not that they're not giving them the opportunity. And you will ask again. I know. You will ask, would they, how would they be given opportunity? Can they just take it? You see, politics is numbers. Politics money. is money. Mm. And if you understand all this, you can understand the constraint that Nigerian youth are going. Okay, now, I think I wanted to hear everybody, but you guys are going off on a complete tangent. <laughs> complete tangent. We, on this type of topic, we tend to use outlier situations to define status quo. We're referring to outliers. I know people who are 45 that still live in their parents' house. Yes. Yes. But are that, those are outlier situations. Mm -hmm. I know people who are 15 who fend for themselves. Again, those are outlier situations. Let's understand, youth going into politics, we need to first understand who the youth is. Ah. It's not an age bracket. Uh, the way I define youth, youth is an experience. And subject to what has happened to you in your life, the age band for is like fatherhood. Mm -hmm. Fatherhood is not an age bracket. It ideally occurs in a certain age range, yes, but that's not the definition. So youth occurs ideally in a certain age bracket. But guess what? As long as you do not have independence, financial independence, you do not have imagination, and you do not have the risk appetite to make a mistake and the wherewithal to start all over again. Those are the factors that define youth, where you can take risks, fail at whatever you're doing and still have time where we don't opportunity to start again what is the bedrock of yes, all of that yes, let me tell you what it is yes, it's it's education right. yes there is no way you would get somebody that we consider youth today if you take fresh graduates out of university have you seen them read and write it's horrible then you bring those outliers to sit with older people that are well educated. Yes, you see that's all, that, so that, that, that's where that is where that's are. where the paradigm have to be shifted, because what you are saying is that you are making the worst case scenario. You are saying that have I seen those who have just come uh, out of school freshly? The truth of the matter is we have a lot of no, people. I'm saying, please, no, 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 I'm please, saying please. if no, no, hang on, hang on. No, let, let me finish if, this no, train no, of thought. You didn't let me finish. You, okay, you please. Okay, me. okay, go ahead. I said, if those are the people you are bringing, yes. then those people they meet will tell you youth are not ready. Yeah. But I can bring for you yes. enough people who are of the standard and quality that exceeds anything my parents' generation has seen. Fantastic. And we don't need a critical mass of people to be in that well, market. In that case, we need a few. In that case, we are not, few available? In that case, in that case, we are not talking about age. I mean, youth as a no, but he mentioned it. Like, yes, so 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 it is this very very important. So you cannot say that I'm qualified, no matter my age. I never argued with you. No, 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 no. You have no risk because by the time no. you're, your needs, no, are I don't know your age. You have no risk appetite. Yes. No, yes. You can't risk failing, that, that losing is, everything. And that is that is where that is where the age thing comes because if someone is eighty. Or seventy. Yes, what is risk appetite? You see, you see, no, good. No, that is where the age no, thing no, also I comes in. That's why I said no. Good. Yes, like, said, when you say risk appetite, twenty eleven, I contested. I lost that. I came back to <laughs> Lagos zero. I started all over again. Twenty fifteen, I went back. I'm talking of risk appetite in terms of ideas. No, yes, ideas. It's not ideas. Ideas. Yes, yes. ideas. You know, so I can take any risk. Okay. 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 Simple. No. I go back. <laughs> Please, I, go I, back I understand. I, I understand yes. all that. It's fantastic that you uh, you can still take risk, even at your younger age. Yes. It doesn't matter. <laughs> the point. The point I'm trying to make is, yeah. is that within our political arrangement today, the youths are not be given, are not given the opportunity to showcase their talents. And that brings me back to... That's not true. No, wait a minute. Wait a minute. No. You see, you keep saying that's no, not true. No, but I'm no, making a point here. When you say give, you see, yes. yes. in the real public space, you're not giving. Yes. You enter and take. I'll tell you, except you do what I call mentoring, which is deliberate. Except you go through deliberate mentoring process. If a youth wants... Yes. Yes. If a youth, wants, a, if a youth wants to be in politics, 
What does he do? Join a political party. Be part of a political process. Attend the meetings. Begin to serve and begin to learn and begin to take and positions. And this is the narrative that your generation bandies around mm -hmm. that is terribly discouraging and again, not true. Okay, cool. Let's so, hear the new new, new it's ideas. It's 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 it. Yes. Uh, obviously, we keep going round and round no, about this. The point is that you know? there, was a, there was a point, just before we go on break, there was a point, uh, I, I keep mentioning this, uh, a woman selling soda water, biscuits, mentioned something at uh, Jolegba, uh, you know, she said, look, how can Nigeria be well? How can they say that use with the future of tomorrow, uh, the less of tomorrow, when their fathers are still sitting on the seat their children are supposed to sit on? That's my point. So how can they? Yes. How can they be? Them out? No. So, no. well, on that That's note, keep them out. Keep, keep them out by entering. Yes. Yeah, so if you don't enter, who's going to kick we'll, them out? We'll take a short break and we'll discuss how we're going to, we the youth are going to kick all these old people out of the system so we can take over. Don't go away, we'll be right back. According to the gang, Nigerian youth are 100% ready to step into political leadership roles. What are your thoughts? As usual, we'd like to hear from you. Let's take it to the streets. When the government is saying that way, it will be reduced the number of people that are just striving to get there. One major tool for development of any country or any nation is youth development. I'm beginning to think beyond the not too young to run bill to a ready to run bill because it's not age that matters. The, the problem is not the age, but the problem is the readiness to rule, the readiness to take on leadership. What I'll suggest is an intergenerational relation. The youth really are vibrant and we know a lot of things. We are developing daily and we are quite innovative. You realize that most of the innovations and change being led across the country are being led by people below the age of 40. So that tells you that we have things to contribute. So instead of the government, it's not looking like a competition between uh, the older generation who is currently in governance with the younger generation that is trying to take on take over power from them. Instead of looking at it as a competition, why can't we come together and synergize our efforts let's sit together let's reason what can each generation contribute best and let's bring it together i guess that is what will help succession and development in nigeria i feel we the youths are ready to lead just that most of us does not have what it takes to lead most of us are not really equipped educationally to lead. Those that are even willing and ready to lead, we don't have enough sponsors on ground. We really need people to say, okay, this is our candidate. He, is, he or she is well knowledgeable to do this, that she can do this, she can do that. Why don't we just give them a try? But no, we don't have that kind of support in our system. We the youth are thinking of how to kick these old people out of power so that we can take over, you know, because we know that power is not given, it is taken. And one of the ways that we have to take power is one, make sure that we register with our PVC, we have our PVC, and then go out during election time join a to, to vote, even if you don't join a political party, it's not compulsory because all the political parties now, only 10% of voters belong to political parties. So it's not compulsory that you must belong to a political party. But if you want to contest an election, then you must join a political party or you become an independent candidate. I want to remind the panelists here that uh, there is a law going on now. I don't know whether... Too young to run. What, that's exactly where I'm going. It's not too young to run. Not too young to run. Yes. The point is that the old people, when I use that word, oh. I use it respectfully. Those who have held positions for certain age. There's age of retirement. And age of retirement all over the world, of course, differ from one end to another. Even in Nigeria, Even in Nigeria we're talking about 65 yeah. to 70 years. But so now, no, just a second. Can you give me a, can you yeah. give me a second okay. here? I have to finish this. So the point I'm trying to make is very clear. Understanding there's a threshold for uh, age within the system for you to contest any certain election or contest any certain position. The youths 
have been identified by those who are between the age of 18 all the way 30. Please, please, please. Let's say 65. No, it's not 65. But I will not go in tandem with they that. They have a national youth because policy. Because there's age, there's, yes, there they is. have a national youth so policy. So 65 is way above. It's not within a national it's youth not, policy. It's not, it's not. Please. So what we're saying is that these young, vibrant, educated Nigerians that perform beyond anything outside there, even in their pri private endeavors, should be given an opportunity within the... Pro just a second, within the political parties. And I know you will say, oh, uh, it's not giving. You have to, you I, have I to have interject because this is the, the, the mention of giving, yes. you know, it takes us back. Politics or power is not actually giving. It's taken. I understand now, that. Now, we know that the, the platform to participate in public politics in Nigeria is can I ask you a question? How do you, how do you take how do you take Chief Tansi title from your father? It's how? a different thing. It's a different thing. No, it cannot be a different thing. It cannot be. It cannot be. Now listen. Now listen. You keep taking that. Let's not digress. Let's not digress. Leadership. Leadership. Yes. In the public space. Yes. The platform is political party. So if you want to be a strong player there, get involved in a political party and begin to play the game, you'll be thrown up. Obama was thrown up through his political party. He yes. began to do stuff. So our, our own youth right now are beginning to do because stuff. Because the environment, because the environment... No, you create environment. You cannot create environment. We will create so, our I understand all that. The yes. environment in America makes it so that... We are not talking uh, about presidents. Yes. Yes. No, it's so, not about presidents. I'm talking so, about every So let me, let me give you some leadership. Let me give yes. you some examples. Yes. You said the youth are not visible or what, what was it? I can't remember what you said. But look, I didn't say they're not visible. I said let them enter political party and begin to have participate. They decided where they want to play. You see, so the issue I have is what is where, what role do they want to play? I'm, I'm getting there. Mm -hmm. The youth have decided where they want to play. Unfortunately, the group called the youth is not a group; it's a classification. It's like saying fathers. There is no community called fathers. It's just a classification. So if you take the age brackets you want. Those young people, mm -hmm. if you go into the entertainment world, there's no old person doing as well as the young people. You go into social media, there's no old person. Do so they have chosen a niche yes. as a group. That niche, you will notice, does not need a banding together. It doesn't need it. Politics needs a banding together. Okay. We are not raised anybody born after 1983 has, and has gone through the educational system in Nigeria and has lived in Nigeria, has a very specific mindset that over the years puts himself down. So we have raised people to be subservient. We have ageism in Nigeria. Where somebody wants to talk and they say, how old are you? It's mm. irrelevant. So we have raised two, three generations of people who will put themselves down in the midst of older people. Yes. And you tell them to come and contest. They will not. Because we have indoctrinated them over generations. No, I'm talking about those. those I'm talking about those who already have the interest to contest. That's my point. In they should be given. They should be given an opportunity. Nobody's going to give them an opportunity. You are not hearing no, what let, I'm let, I heard what you said. Through you, the edu hang on. Through the educational system, through the cultural system, through the households, everybody born after let me say 1980 yeah. has been raised not to question authority yes. they go through church nobody asks pastor questions question no. in the house nobody asks that on that note on that note as i keep using i keep using the word they should be given as your lecture, because let yeah, me finish please. in class nobody questions the lecturer and you are raised through that system that you cannot question, question. a governor the other day had the f entry to rudely claim how can you ask me a question i am constituted authority that is it that mindset will not change so you need a few people that's my point a few people, I don't care their age range, yes, I don't yes. care their classification, yes. a few people who will break that glass ceiling and yeah. say, it does not matter. Yeah, okay, I want so to... So, in this group, we can speak yes. freely. Nobody's going to tell me, oh, Zio, you're younger than me, keep quiet. No. I'm not going to answer I want you. to take you up and on that. And we need to expand that mindset. Yes. And nobody is going to give a mindset. Okay, understanding okay. that, understanding what you have just said now, that we are raised to obey authority, somebody who is older than us, be it constituted institution, be it whatever, that we don't ask questions. Yes. That brings back to what I'm talking about. 
that opportunity must be given to people. And you keep saying they should take it. How do you the take something? The status quo benefits the people who are no, there. Those, that, that's that's just, yes, those, those, yes, yes, yes. Sonia, yes. Those, yes. People, Sonia, call him yes. those people who are there and enjoy... You do things in a better, yes. more efficient way. But they're doing way. things. That's what I'm saying. Those that are doing those things that that's you just right. mentioned. The mindset of how we then need to project it. It is not... Let me give you an example. The present... President, yes. his campaign was run by a company owned by two people who at the time, at the time we're talking two, three years ago, yes. were 30 and 31 year old. Yes. Yeah. But guess what? Because they don't have the need or the desire to go into political limelight, you have probably never heard of them. Mm -hmm. They ran that campaign success. Guess what? They also ran the campaign of the Ghanaian president successfully and they won. I, so nobody should tell. It's not about. It's not about giving. No, they do stuff. They, they were sought out. They were, was, uh, they were sought out because <laughs> of the excellence they had shown. That is in it. Their say, yeah. Okay, let me let me rephrase let this. Let me let me let rephrase. Let the youth. Just, me, just hold on. Just let the youth. I wanted to yeah. to do social. I wanted to, I wanted to rephrase it. I wanted to. Yes. Oh. You look for. Competence. I don't want you to quarrel with that word giving. Okay, let me rephrase that. Go ahead. Opportunity must the play should be. There are opportunities. Oh, yeah. There are opportunities. Are you me? And yes. we should also mentor those. Sorry, yeah. those young ones. That's, 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 that's the point. Young the last point must be yes. given the opportunity to, to be mentored. The error yes. we keep making in this type of we make two errors. Mm -hmm. One, we misdefine youth. Two, we assume youth is a group. It is not. The youth will never come together. The same way there are roughly more. There are about the same amount of women as men, but the women will never because the women is not a club. It's just a mere class. You're not completely Should correct. You're not because the youth are coming together. They are not. They are coming together right now. There is no they, way they, they are youth. No, so no, no. no. Say, the youth in Nigeria, by definition, are over 120 million. Yes. No. But you there's, guys, there's a new consciousness. There's a new consciousness because I'm a of the loss. No. age. I mean, youth is a demography of certain group of it's people. It's a demography, yes. Uh, no, yes. wait a minute, wait a minute. So it's we can talk intellectually here. Yes. Are you kidding me? Youth is a demography. Our discussion here, I understand where you're coming from. You are saying that because of how we are raised up, yes. we never grow. And even if we felt we've grown, that we should wrestle power. And I keep saying, and that's the area you guys are missing, how do you wrestle power from a giant? How do you do that? Uh, it that means that the playing field have to be leveled. No, no, so no, no, no. For you to it be is not going to be possible no, no. So for playing field. There's nothing like yeah, playing field. I think uh, one of the like point that. is also trying to yes. make there should be a deliberate effort. Who is going to effort. deliberately do that? No, leadership. The people, the people who you are asking to provide the labor playing field is benefiting them. So do you think they will now, something that has been benefiting them, they will just come and hand it over to you? Mm -hmm. is, it, is it possible? Uh, Professor Patatomi usually said that he provides, he has provided his shoulders for the younger ones who are willing mm -hmm. to stand on his shoulders. Willing, yes, to you know, to move up, to move on. And he has been doing that over the years. He has created a platform for them, you know, to stand on on, on his shoulder. And that is what leadership should do. And that's the point I think he's, yes, he's yes. trying to make to mentor, yes. deliberate mentorship. Yes. That's what the you know what is required yes. for us to even in the US, even in the in Britain, there's a, even in China, all over the world. there are all institutions that groom people. In China, they, there's one institution that you cannot become a counselor in your local government without going through that. That's part of mentorship. Let's, go, and, let's, let's you know, get our schools. Do you know, let's get so, education right oh, first. Exactly. That's, that's what I'm starting yeah. from. Education. No, whether you are youth or old, if you are uneducated, you're going to spit out rubbish. All right. Uh, I think we'll have to go <laughs> at this point. We'll have to go. Mm -hmm. But the point is made. Yes, whether the youth, they are ready or not, is another uh, kettle of uh, fish. But again, the leaders, the older leaders should make, provide their shoulders for the younger ones to stand on to make progress in life. On that note, see you next time. The gang's overall opinion is that our youth should be mentored and given opportunities to lead. Well, that's all we have time for today on Patito's Gang. Thank you for joining us. We hope you found today's episode to be informative and enlightening. Join the conversation. Be sure to follow us on all our social media pages displayed right there on your screen. I am Nenna Jimye. And until next time, take care and be well. <laughs>